Hello, so I'm going to show you how to send push notifications using Bash. Uh, in particular, we're going to use curl. So here's how we'll do it. So first, we're going to use Sponta. Sponta is an API to send push notifications without your own app or website. Um, so to clarify, this tutorial will not go over Firebase cloud messaging or APNS. Uh, this is particular for people who are trying to send push notifications, but currently do not have their own app. So to get started, uh, we're going to follow these four steps on api.spontit.com. So the first one is sign up at spontit.com. So, okay, so then once we sign in, uh, it's going to ask us to enable desktop notifications. Spontit works for Android, iOS, and desktop devices, uh, and we'll uh, show how it works on desktop and iOS for this tutorial. So here, just click Enable and Allow. Okay. The next step is get our username at spontit.com slash profile. We can just click this, or we can click Profile here. Uh, same thing. Here's our username. It was already created. Okay. Get a secret key. Spontit's free, so it's pretty easy to just get a secret key. Just click Create New Key. There we go. Okay, now uh, download the mobile app and allow notifications. So instead, it's basically uh, click enable here to get a text with the uh, app link. So now that we've enabled on both um, desktop and, and mobile phone, uh, we're just going to follow the simple push uh, tutorial here. So we just click this. This is under the push endpoint. And we just go down here and we select curl. So this isn't formatted uh, to easily copy and paste into your terminal. So we can just do it here. And we just edit it quickly. And so the first thing is, we'll just uh, confirm that we uh, edited this uh, correctly by seeing if we get an authorization error. That looks like uh, that's what happened. Um, yep, so invalid combination. So now we can go back here. We get our secret key. We put it here. Go back here and get our username. And now we now this should work. And this will give us the notification that we want to get sent. Receive. And there we go. So there's this. We can even open it. It'll open up Spontit uh, and show uh, the particular notification that we received here. Oh, one last thing that I forgot to mention. If you go to Sponta.com, uh, here's your feed. Here are the push notifications we sent. Uh, if you're debugging or you want to send push notifications to other people, you can simply invite them to your channel. So what we did was uh, we sent to our main channel, which is our account. Uh, so we sent to this one. That's the default. Um, you can create as many channels as you want uh, for anything just by clicking Create here. And if you click this, and then you click invite. Uh, there are options where you can simply uh, have it send uh, whoever this link, and then uh, they receive this link and they sign up. They'll automatically follow this user here. Um, they can text this to um, uh, you know this code to this number, or they can search the code on the explore page or scan this QR code. So they have a lot of ways to uh, you know, easily join your channel and receive whatever pushes you send. Again. Uh, what I did was I went to uh, a push tab here. So you know, if we were on home, here's our feed. Went to the push tab. I selected the channel uh, once it loads, and uh, then I click invite. So you can receive notifications from any channel as long as you're following it. Um, so for example, you can go to the explore page. Um, and once this loads, you can click on any of these. So it says snap, um, and then simply follow it. And then now you will receive any notifications sent to this channel. 
and they can also uh, send you individual notifications. So say just to your account rather than to everybody that's following the channel. Uh, thank you for watching. If you have any uh, questions, comments, feedback, uh, please comment below or send an email to info at uh, Thank you very much. Have a great day.